In this video, I'm gonna go over bunt defense. If there are no runners on base and the hitter bunts the ball, third baseman, pitcher, first baseman, and catcher will be covering the bunt. Second baseman will be covering first. With that, you're gonna be having your shortstop cover second and your third baseman cover third in case there's an overthrow at first base. The other option you can do is keep your first baseman back so they're not covering the bunt. The only defenders covering the bunt are catcher, third, and pitcher. Shortstop can kind of hang out around second base and then third base will get the bag. The only time I like when that first baseman stays back is if you have a very athletic pitcher. Even with that, when you have teams recognize that first baseman staying back, they're gonna bunt towards that first baseline and that's really hard to defend. And like myself, I was very good at placing that bunt down the first baseline. So even if there was an athletic pitcher on the mound and I'm bunting it towards first base, I'm still gonna be safe. Whereas if that first baseman played up and they were kind of in my face, they might have the opportunity to throw me out. Just remember these scenarios are gonna be based off the defense and your runners. Now let's move if there's a runner at first base. So if there's a runner at first base and the hitter lays down a bunt, third base, pitcher, catcher, and first base will be covering the bunt. Second base is gonna be covering first base. Shortstop will be covering second base. Now this is an important part here. Third base bag needs to be covered by somebody. It's gonna depend on who gets the ball. If third baseman fields that bunt, that catcher needs to book it down to that bag in order to cover that bag. Because if you are the runner at first base and that bunt is down and you're running to second and you see third baseman and catcher are around this area and third base is wide open because shortstop will be covering second, then they're gonna take that bag. Now, if the third baseman is not fielding that bunt, they need to book it back to the bag to cover the bag. As they're crashing and that bunt gets down and they realize that ball is not gonna be to them, they need to turn around and get back to the bag. You can always have left field come in automatically just to be there, just in case there's miscommunication. Um, but regardless, it should either be the third baseman that's covering third or the catcher. So the other scenario that you can do is the first baseman is gonna stay back so they're not fielding the bunt. The defenders that are fielding the bunt are third, pitcher, and catcher. But with that, you can have the first baseman covering first, the second baseman covering second, and now you can have the shortstop covering third. Now let's move to if there's a runner on second or first and second. Third base, first base, pitcher and catcher will be fielding that bunt. Second baseman will be going to first base, and now we're gonna have the center fielder coming in to cover second base. Anytime there is a runner on second base, the shortstop will always be covering third. For those who have played the game or coached this game, you know this game goes very, very fast, and it's very short distance. There's usually never a play at second base if there's a runner on first and second or just second base. This is what varies from baseball, because baseball, obviously you have a lot bigger field, you have a little bit more time. That second base might be a little bit more of a priority, but right now, we really want to make sure that we are covering third and we're covering first. Now let's move to third base. Same rules are going to apply. Third base, first base, pitcher, catcher, they're going to defend the bunt. Shortstop will be covering third in case there's a throwback. Second base will be covering first in order to get that out. Center fielder will be covering second base. Let's end on if there's a runner on first and third. The first scenario is you're going to have the first baseman back, so the pitcher, third baseman, and catcher are going to defend the bunt. Second baseman is gonna cover second base. Shortstop is gonna cover third. First baseman is staying back, so they've got that bag covered. Shortstop needs to cover third because there is a runner on third base. We don't want that runner hanging out, going halfway, to where if we field that bunt and throw to first, that's an easy score for her. Um, what we also don't want is if we field the bunt and we don't throw it, and we get her in a rundown, and there's nobody at third. Now, I know a lot of teams will just show the bunt. They won't put the bunt down, but they'll show it in order to take off that first and third scenario for the defense. So this is a good setup if you still want to keep that first and third scenario on. You've got first covered, you have second covered for the steal, and you have third covered. Now, another play that you can do, you'll have your corners crash. So third, first, catcher, pitcher, you're going to defend the bunt. Shortstop, you'll be covering third base. Second base, you'll be covering first base. So this is very, very, very important and I can't stress it enough. You have to communicate and you need to communicate every single play. The play might change depending on the game scenario or your runners. So make sure you and your teammates are on the same page.